Salutations, everyone. If you're watching this video, stop what you're doing. Stop what you're doing. Arat. I would like a round of applause for Pendulums for winning YCS Ghent. Good job. Good job to Johannes, uh, shit, I forgot your last name, for winning YCS Ghent with Pendulums. And you had a little of a Lunar Light uh, Orcus engine in there, but then that's when I really hit me. What if I just built pure Pendulum Orcus without the garbage Lunar Light cards and just Pendulum cards? Pendulum Orcus, baby! So with that being said, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, and let's get straight into the video. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. In whatever time zone you're watching this in, you're welcome. You're welcome for the greatness that is about to be bestowed upon your very existence. Pendulum Orcus. The best version of Pendulum, the best version of Orcus, the best version of Pendulums in Yu-Gi-Oh! And the best version of any deck in the game. So without further ado, hit the subscribe button, pay close attention from now all the way to the very end, and you're gonna witness the theory behind the deck, the main combo behind the deck, and the deck list at the end. But don't miss this part, it's important. So without further ado, let's go! I'm gonna show you guys right now, just a, a, a typical game. Going first, again, this is not gonna prove anything going first, but it's more so to show you guys the combo of the deck and what to do through hand traps and the theory behind it, which is huge. So pay close attention, it is not your typical pendulum deck, there's a new game pawn here. You can even see here, we, we literally break with the crescendo, but what you guys gotta understand is this. The way that the pendulum deck is built, alright, when you look at Luna Light Orcas, and pay close attention here, this is the theory of why people play Luna Light Orcas, why Cyber Dragon Orcas, etc. They do it because it does what Pure Orcas does, plus it's better going second, it does stuff going second, and has more cards that Mermaid cannot be hand trapped by. So what do you get in Pendulum? A Jackal every single game that protects the Mermaid to make sure it always resolves. What else do you get? Cards that must be negated. Blue Boy must be negated. A uh, the Servant must be negated. Boom, and then you Pendulum call, one card, Orcas combo. So just like that, uh, to this alliance, to the card, Orcas combo. The stupid Zodiac meme. Anyways. And I'll show you guys now, just a typical game. And no matter when he hand traps you, if he ashes the blue, like, you never ash the blue boy or the secrets, always ash the knowledge, okay? Always, just in case there's another knowledge in hand. But see, even if he ashes here, you still get two counters and seven, seven resolves full Orcas combo easily. So, just like that, like, even through uh, Ash, you have the Orcas combo. Orcas combo is the end goal, because with the second that Girsu and Crescendo get rolling, it's a never ending. Uh, not a loop, but never ending, never ending greatness that you get every single turn until the duel's over. So, the second you set up or the or Orcus combo with Pendulums, Pendulum summoning a Demon and Jackal every turn, your grind game is now so high, so highly powered as opposed to normal Pendulums, that it offers something that Pendulum doesn't have, which is a grind game. Good Pendulums. Now, bad Pendulums can do a grind game, but they don't have a good first turn. So this basically gives you a crazy first turn, crazy going second, crazy through all the interruptions and hand traps because there's so many lines of plays. So like, what are you gonna hand trap? Are you gonna save your hand trap for the Orcas combo? What are you gonna do? You even dead drew a Jackal and a Gate Zero. It doesn't matter. Like it literally doesn't matter what you draw. It doesn't matter what hand you have. The whole deck is built around a, a bunch of Orcas, one card Orcas combos and a Pendulum seven equals Orcas combo. So what are they gonna waste your hand trap on? And this is a cool OTK. And you could, with Dragon Caller, by the way, you could you could guard Dragon, you could uh, Orcus combo first, and then guard Dragon combo. And I'll teach you guys how to do that as well in the video. So pay close attention. As you see, man, I'm gonna fast forward the rest because everybody knows this part. And it's so easy to get the free card now because of open pit. So th there's just so much synergy involved, it's unbelievable. Now, th that wasn't even a good hand. He goes Gizmek first, I'm like, sure, I don't care. Like, this wasn't even a good hand whatsoever. In fact, a brick hand. You guys noticed it. We even drew it to Gate Zero and Jackal. So we had and Crescendo. So it's like a three cards we don't want. But it doesn't matter. You're going to end on six interruptions. So it doesn't matter at all. Like, that's insane. Like, what are you going to hand trap? Doesn't matter what you hand trap in the situation. Even if you have two or three hand traps, you're, even through three hand traps, you're going to end on Orcus combo. So it's pretty insane. So it's it just a typical summon here. And I understand. I'm not saying it's the best deck because of this match alone. But it's the best deck because it's the best deck. And this is most likely the deck I'll be using when I get free very soon. So here you go, we play Hot Red here because it's a dark. So you could Orcos combo and then Guard Dragon combo and end in a Hot Red, which is crazy. So even you could Orcos combo first and then still Guard Dragon combo at the end, utilizing uh, uh, Dragon Caller, making Dra uh, Galatea, 
a uh, sorry, sorry, not Galate, making a skeleton a dragon and making symbol skeleton dragon, you can still orcas combo. I'll show you guys a combo at the very end of the video, but it's absolutely insane. Like just, that's why you play uh, this is hot right instead of vortex because you could still and uh, vortex is a win. And it's gonna fast forward here, yeah, and then boom, just like that orcas combo, uh, even with drawing the brick. So it's uh, it's insane. Like, and this is just typical. Like, it's literally typical. So, you're going to end on a very typical, extremely typical. Every single turn, uh, you have a crescendo. So, one negate, two, three, four, five, six negates. Very, like, a typical turn. So, go, and a lot of decks are going to make you go second. And your follow-up's insane. You have an oaf and a pit adding you back every turn. Pop any back where you want. The gears are coming back every turn. Like, and Demi on another. Like, that's insane what you could do. Crescendo getting you another card. We're playing Pure Thunder here with some other stuff. I mean, you know, don't, don't, don't insult me by playing such a garbage deck. This deck's an insult to all Yu-Gi-Oh players everywhere. Sorry if you play Pure Thunder. But like, what are you gonna do, bro? I'm toying with the guy. I'm like, I don't need to do any negate. I can literally just pass and not use any of my negates. You still won't be able to do anything. Nice Colossus, bro. <laughs> Colossus. That thing you just said. Good game, buddy. So he goes at that and like, he understands his game. Okay. Now, uh, you're gonna notice a cool tech here. As I said at the beginning of the video, the deck is revolved around the Orcas combo, hence cards like Empowerment. You have so many, he, I thought we were going to go second here, but he made us go first, so I decided in Sphere Modes and stuff, so it's okay. You have 15 cards to discard the Bricks, like Orcas cards. You have 15 cards to discard the Bricks to give you a plus. So now, even if they have a bunch of hand traps, you have Empowerment, discard anything, normal summon Orcas combo. So you have Orcas combo no matter what. Orcus combo is a be all end all. Okay, you could go Electrum, negate Electrum, negate the cards like a guard dragon combo, negate Servant, negate Blue Boy. They can have four interruptions and they could still doesn't matter because through the four interruptions, you're still gonna Orcus combo. They're gonna need five interruptions to stop you, and sometimes even that is not enough if you have the right hand. So that's also why you play a pyramid. So now the bricks per se are never bricks because you just discard so many of the bricks. To make sure you have no bricks. It's absolutely insane. There are no bricks, bricks even in this deck. The only bricks you'll see is in the entire meta, aka any hand to sell a man great. Every hand of that deck is a brick. Uh, their, their combo, their best combo is a brick. It does nothing. Their best combo gives you one negate. My best com my worst combo gives you five negates. So get wrecked, sell a man shit. Now, anyways, we're gonna keep going here. Even with the garbage hand, we had basically all low scales. You're still going to end on the same board, essentially, as last game. We didn't have access to high scale, so yo, we're just going to keep the D-minor here. Whatever. We're going to have five attacks instead of six, multiple cards and multiple plays, and just like that, basically everything is just extremely typical of this deck. All right, now I'd love to show you more matches going first, going second, going third, going fourth. I don't give a shit. This is the best deck, period. Uh, I'm going to, he's going to scoop right away. Like, oh my god, I have a bad head. Maybe if I can win if I, blah, blah, blah. Okay, get the hell out of here. This is the deck profile now. Oh, that was, that was bad. Okay, let me get the deck profile for you guys. Uh, time now due to inactivity. Shut up, dueling book. How about our dueling network or whatever the hell you're called now? Bro, deck constructor, let's go. Number one, pen orc. Okay, this is the deck list. All right, now pay close attention to the theory I'm going to say. I'll go as fast as I can. Servant and Abductor are the best cards in this deck, hands down. You play uh, 33 spells plus Chronograph. You play 36 spells. Absolutely insane. These cards are broken. If anything, you got Abductor to two, but it's insane. These cards alone are just the, what the entire deck is. Chronograph again. Two Dark Worm. You, you'd rather know what's on Blue Boy, not Dark Worm. Drawing Dark Worm sucks. Understand it through your heads. There's no desires in this deck. You can afford to play two Dark Worm. One in each Magician. Harmonizing is the most overrated Magician in the game. If you're doing the Guard Dragon combo correctly, you, the harmonizing monster that comes up from harmonizing sits there and does nothing. It just does nothing whatsoever. So you only need harmonizing for going second just to ensure you get Yazi off. That's it. If Yazi wasn't in this deck, harmonizing is going bye bye. Like it literally does nothing to clear boards. Pearl Poison is there in, in case you're playing pure Orcus and they go, uh, uh, what's it called? The Topologic. Yeah, Topologic, uh, these nuts, bro. Pearl Poison will eat you for breakfast or any fun gate deck. But against uh, meta, it's actually trash. Dragon Caller is absolutely remarkable in this deck. Whether you're playing, if you're playing Guard Dragons in your deck and not Dragon Caller and you're playing Magicians, I don't know what the hell you're doing. In fact, if Dragon Caller was not a card and if Dragon Pit were not cards, which a lot of you aren't even playing them to, I'm completely taking Magicians out of the deck. Black Bang Pro Poison Harmonizing. They are absolutely useless. I don't even know why I play any of them, to be honest. But Dragon Caller, Dragon Pit, and Oaf Dragon are the main reason why I play this deck, as well as because of Yazi. 
So if you're not even playing Mary Mary, Dragon Call, or Dragon Pit, why the hell are you playing Magicians? I would not, like, guaranteed cut them without a doubt if I'm not playing those cards. They're absolutely insane if you use them correctly. Oath Dragon because if you still have the Guard Dragon access, you don't need the Dragon Colors, so you get the plus one by Oath. And because you're playing Orca's deck, that plus one could be vital sometimes. Dragon Pit Time Gazer. Haramo Time Gazer. The Yazi. That's the only reason they're there. Okay, one of each. None of them are so overpowered. You just want them to more access for pen call. And drawing too many of them sucks. I in fact want to cut the whole Magician Engine out. But the utility of these six specific cards are amazing. One Gate Zero, one Dragon Ox. It's a scale seven but to, uh, that you now play the Empowerment for. And Empowerment allows you to play Terraforming and set Rotation. More spells. And you need more spells to trigger the best cards in your deck, which you have nine of. Servant of Dr. Mastery. And because you play... 14 draw cards in this deck you end up drawing them every single time so you see a 60 card deck but it's really 44 because of the, uh, how many draw cards you play and you want to ensure you don't draw too many uh orcas cards drawing blue boy or little secrets whatever that's perfect drawing two of them is amazing because the, for the noobs that don't want to play this card you just use it from hand and don't waste your normal summon you don't need this normal summon in this deck you have something called a pendulum summon you have something called the infinity turbo cards in this deck so it's relevant uh, you're gonna keep going here. One in Demon, one Jackal. Okay, one Mare Mare. I still don't know why you guys don't play it. Even with Orcas, I still play Mare Mare. Mare Mare, Yazi, the fact that Harmonizing can go into it, as well as the Strudo, as well as half your deck to send that card, it's insane. And by itself wins games, especially when Dragon Caller makes a, 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 a dragon. Insane. One of each. You don't need to play two Nightmare because if you draw a Nightmare, you just have pen it and have the combo. You still play seven Blue Boy Engine, three, three, one. If you don't play this engine, you are I play servant, you are absolutely fried. Please for the please do it. The ones who, who tried it before and don't like it, you don't like it because you'll see like you'll see in your hand you only have a chronograph and a blue boy. You have no other turbo card. So you have a one chronograph, you use blue boy, you draw to no turbo cards, like oh shit. Now I can't make electrum. You gotta understand that in those situations, you don't always have to normal summon the blue boy. You can always pendulum summon it and pretend it's a pendulum monster because at the end of the day, you're using it, uh, using it as uh, just a part of your guard dragon combo to link away with. You don't need to always resolve its effect if you are sure you cannot make an Electrum. It's kind of just like 99% of the time you can normal summon use its effect, but it's the best hand trap bait. And if it gets Valored, congratulations, or uh, uh, Imperm, whatever. Congratulations. If you draw into another one, draw two. If not, they went negged one for a random monster you don't give a shit about, and you have free fodder for Lincoln. You gotta play it. All the draw cards. No desires because Orca's combo. Uh, three master, one foolish, three shine. Ravine. Now, because of Distrudo, you have so many more Orca's combo. Turbo card, 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 baby. So now, and you get interrupted off the ass, you have your, your six field spells to extend your play no matter what. So even if it seems like all hope is lost, it's not. Because even the most bricky of bricky of brick hands ensures you're gonna work this combo through hand traps regardless, even with the brickiest of brick hands. So you need to play them. And the more field spells, the better, because you resolve the best cards. Six pen calls, again, look at this, six pen call. Six field spells, which discard, that's 12. Three allure, 15. So you have 15 cards that get rid of cards that are bricks, per se. So now if you draw, let's say, two Orcas cards or something, you have 15 cards to discard them, and you always need to save one card anyways in your hand to discard the mermaid. So you're supposed to have one brick card in your hand. And guess what? When you play Pendulum Magicians, you have 50 brick cards in your deck. Look at this, okay? Magician, Monster, Pendulum. Let me show you something, okay? Black Fang, here's what its effect says. Once per turn, you can target one Gemini Garnet, uh, because that's what this card does, and it's the ultimate wizard in terms of attack and defense that does nothing. Nothing! Uh, guess what? Guess what? Hey, hey, purple poison does nothing! Harmonizing does nothing! They all do nothing! Why the hell are you playing them? Like, one of each for utility, okay, a Black Fang literally does nothing. Why do you guys play 30 magicians? It's beyond me. Anyways, those do nothing. They equal gate zeros. They equal gate- drawing one of these does the same thing. But because you play 15 discard card, at the worst case scenario, Harp Horror, at the worst case scenario, it becomes a Black Fang Magician. Best case scenario, it OTKs your opponent and gives you 5 negates. So, learn from the Pen God. Next, side deck. 3 Sphere, 2 Lava, 3 Super Poly, 3 Dynamaster, 3 Reboot, 1 Cyber Venom. I just, I'm testing this out right now. Dino, you could, against uh, Thunder decks, you have 11 cards, uh, sorry. Against Crazy Combo decks, you got 11 to side if you really want to. Uh, you, against back, you got six, but this deck obliterates back row, so you don't need to put too much versus them, but you already have six of them for back row, 
and all six stop shit like anti spoiler fud gates and combo gets destroyed from this as well. All right, action deck. Uh, uh, it's not tight at all. You would think such a, a thing like this is tight, but these are the only cards you need. You don't need the stupid synchros that synchro sevens that you guys play that do nothing. You don't need Ignister. It does nothing. Most of the time, when you go into Ignister, you have a ten times better play anyways. Uh, or uh, Dark Rebellion. Any Dark Rebellion extra deck card. Get get out of my face. Electro, B Cop, LP, Trio Burst, Agar Paint, Seal, Hot Red. Hot Red is there because you could Orcus combo and then Guard Dragon combo because LP and Ag and Triple Burst and Agar Paint are all darts. So you don't end up on the seal, but you could easily end up on a hot red and a boral sword when you have a brick ass hand with the orca save your ass. Use dragon color to target a skeleton, make it a dragon, and you could steal orcas or guard dragon combo after you orcas combo. So you could end on a Galatea and a hot red, like through like we're talking just a normal a typical orcas combo. So your opponent negates everything. And then out of nowhere, Orcus combo, which your opponent doesn't see coming, because let's say you empowerment, whatever, get rid of a card, okay? Orcus combo, and then you dragon color target skeleton. I'll show you guys a combo in a later video, but you end on hot red and galatea through a typical Orcus combo with still having the Dingirsu and Graveyard from the skeleton or whatever. Okay, for next turn. Okay, Yasin and Karibo. It's just too good of a combo. It's straight up an OTK. I don't know how the hell people don't play it. It's a must negate. If you draw a mermaid, who gives a shit? This card only has 15 ways. Or with, with mermaid if you really have to. Mermaid, Phoenix, I really want to make space for Unicorn or a Cerberus because uh, it, it really lets you use the Phoenix uh, in case it gets the Solemn Judgment Tater and Striked or whatever. You could then go into something else with the mermaid. But there's uh, Yazil and Kribo just better. So it's fine. This is enough. Just be smart with it. Boral Sword, one Ding Gersu and Galatea. Dex, absolutely nuts. Try it for yourselves. The, it's a high, high, high skill cap. So if you don't misplay, you're going to destroy your opponent. But if you misplay, you might lose. But guess what? We don't misplay out here. So hope you enjoy the video. Hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.